Hey guys, it's Kay, I hope you're all well. So today I'm looking at a free entertainment app for your Fire Stick TV for on-demand content including movies, TV series and lifestyle content. And the great thing is it hosts more than 10,000 videos in over 25 genres and categories for free. So that means you don't need to pay for any subscription fee at all. And it's available from all major app stores including iOS and Google and of course your Amazon TV store. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, reviews and unboxings, I do everything including Fire Stick, Raspberry Pi and Android TV tips and tricks. So subscribe and hit the notification button. And of course, because it does offer free content, you are going to get some ads sprinkled into the content, which if you ask me, is a small price to pay. And the other great thing is, you don't need any location spoofing software to use it. So this app is called Forsome TV and the content library of Forsome TV is updated almost daily therefore there's always something new for you to watch. Now after using the TV app for a few days what I can say is that it's lightweight and it's fast. You get smooth navigation and the layout is straightforward allowing you to easily browse and stream the content. You can look up for movies and shows by categories or simply use the search option on the main screen. So currently I'm using my web browser on my PC to review the service. But of course the service is available on all major platforms via an app and later on in the video I'll run through the process of getting the app. Ok so this is the home page layout and the first category we've got is Foursome This Week. So this is presumably where you're going to see all the new content added this week. And as you can see it's a mixed bag here, there's loads of content to choose from, from all different genres. So we've got things like action, horror, kids, documentaries and so on. And then below that category we jump straight into movies by genre. So in this section you can quickly jump to movies of that particular genre you're interested in. And again of course there's tons of choice here. And if you click on the information on the tile it'll give you a brief description of the type of movies here and the actors participating. So here you can see we've got Nicolas Cage, Jason Stratton, Sylvester Stallone. So if you're a fan of these guys definitely give this one a look. So I've gone into the action genre and you can see all the movies that are action related. Now the cool thing is we get further categorization as you can see by the titles on the left. So we've got Editor's Choice, Recently Added and what I do like about this app is that these titles are pretty colourful and are pretty enticing. And again if you click on the information on the tile you get a nice big bright poster with more information about the movie. It just gives you that nice experience if you ask me. So we've got a little bit about the plot and the actors involved. It's these little nice touches which make the app. So moving on down on the homepage we've got the next category which is the best 100 movies so guys, don't get excited, this is of course the best 100 movies on the app, and not of all time. Now below that category, we've also got the thrillers category. Now guys, what I will say is that overall in this app, we do get some great movies, and most of the movies are movies that I've not really heard of. But that doesn't mean they're not any good, because sometimes you do find some real gems in these type of movies. And as you can see by what you've seen so far, there is plenty of categories and content to watch. And if you're not happy with something you're watching, you can simply just change what you're watching very quickly and smoothly because of the smooth and clear navigation of the app. So guys, now if you've reached this part of the video, I want to thank you for supporting the channel. As without you guys, I wouldn't be able to do this. And I just wanted to say thank you. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do and give us a thumbs up. Now back to the app. And as you can see guys, we're back on the categories and there's tons more to choose from, including new arrivals, discover, action and thriller, which is one of my all time favourite categories for the obvious reasons. And the cool thing is if you click on one of those discover tiles it takes you straight to that section and category with no messing about and you can get stuck straight in. Now the other thing I want to mention is that with the TV series it's all nicely laid out with all the episodes and series. And as you can see guys the app's very quick to respond when you click on an item. And that's all due to the fact that this is an official app with a properly resourced backend. So you'll experience no lag or stuttering while viewing the content here. And another cool thing is here we've got a live TV section so these are channels playing different genres of movies or TV shows live. Pretty cool. Now of course if you do use the app you're going to get a different layout to the web version I'm using here but trust me you get the same lag and stutter free playback. So this is a little cheeky title here not on Netflix so I'm not sure if that's a good or a bad thing but it's great to see that the app developers have got a sense of humour. So guys I'm not going to go through all the categories as that would take ages and I don't want to bore you. But what I will do is go through some of the highlights which I found useful and pretty cool. And what I liked was that you get a section at the bottom called popular comedy channels which I found pretty entertaining and also below that we got browse by genres if you want to quickly jump to a section and back up top we've got some shortcuts to menu items, we've got TV shows again with all the series and episodes below the main thumbnail. And if you just want to quickly know what's new on the app 
just click on the recently added menu item on the top of the home page and you'll get all the new movies and TV shows all categorized. Now up top they've also got a menu item called collections and I must say it's the first time I've come across this idea and it's pretty novel. So what you get here is a collection of actors and actresses and if you click on the thumbnail of a particular actor or actress you get a small little biography about that actor and if you go further and click on play it'll show you the movies they've got in the app which feature this actor. Now the idea is a great one but currently it needs to be implemented a bit better as there doesn't seem to be many movies on the app with these actors and you end up getting a blank screen. But hopefully fingers crossed they can fill this section up in the future because in my opinion it would make a great little feature for this app. Now another cool feature in this collections section is the search movies by year. So you just click on the thumbnail of the year you're interested in and you'll get the selection of movies and TV shows for that year. And the last thing I want to look at is the search function which of course is going to be like any search function you've used before within an app and nothing out of the ordinary to report here, it works pretty well as intended. So what I like about this app is that it's got a huge library of free on demand content including movies, TV shows and some documentaries. We've got a neat and well organized and user friendly interface which makes it easy to find content with familiar categories and an effective search tool. The app is lightweight and offers a smooth performance. The navigation within the app is quick and easy, playback is smooth and quick, stutter free, you get built in subtitles that are easily turned on and off and most importantly it's available in most countries with no geo restrictions. Now there's a couple of things that I believe Forsome TV could do with improving and the first of these is there's no way of creating a favorites list. The only playlist you get is the recently watched category so if you want to watch a video later you must play it at once so it's added to your recently watched category. But overall if you're looking for a lot of free and legal on demand content for your fire stick definitely give Forsome TV a try. There's hundreds of movies and TV shows you can binge watch at any time you want. And like I mentioned earlier, you can install Forsome TV on a Fire Stick from the Amazon store, so there's definitely no need to sideload the app. And the app can be ready for streaming in just a couple of minutes. Now me personally, I've found some really interesting titles on Forsome TV, but let me know how your experience has been in the comments section below. Now some of you out there might be thinking, wow, what's all this tech jargon? I just want to watch movies and TV shows. I don't want to be messing around with my Android TV and installing apps and then inputting codes or some users might not even be that technically minded or bothered. All they want is the simple life. And for those type of users, there's a solution. And these are basically Android boxes sold as a full solution. You pay a one-off price for a lifetime of movies and TV shows. Now I've done a video review of one of these boxes and I'll link it in the top left hand corner now. And shortly I'll have another video coming up about another one of these boxes by a different manufacturer. So to catch these videos and more, give us a like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you all in the next one.